few days we experience the spiritual high and this um, moment of consolation from the Lord and that's all good and that's all beautiful and it's all true but the moment we leave World Youth Day and we go back to our lives it's like okay we're, we're just go back into our lives and whatever that may be going to college high school work and sometimes a lot of people who went to World Youth Day probably are from like the secular world and they they work in the secular world and so like that consolation just goes into desolation and we don't think about the beauty and the love of our faith until the next World Youth Day three years or two years later. One of the reasons that your faith will be strengthened is you'll experience the Universal Church. Nowhere else, no other event, even any other pilgrimage events, uh, give you the sense of the truly universal church as World Youth Day does. Um, it really showed me how God can work through any situation in a very small period of time, just like in the here and now and it inspired me to, um, you, uh, to do His will and to bring His will about whatever He wants at every moment because we really only have now. See, the thing about, you know, now is the time. It's always now, not later. Don't make excuses. I, I remember when he said that at the Mass and I was like, oh, that's such a challenge. I don't know how to do it. Um, I don't know. I, I'm going to keep praying because because I'll be honest, I can be pretty lazy when it comes to that, you know, doing doing what I know God wants me to do. So I'm just going to keep praying for the grace to do better. Uh, I've learned just how big the church is. Um, I've been really blessed in a career in ministry to see uh, our national church and to work across our country in all sorts of different ways, but to really learn how big the church is is a whole new thing and only World Youth Day, I think, provides that. And so these reunions are just moments of keep like reminding ourselves of that consolation, reminding ourselves of the love of God, and um, just looking forward to, you know, what He has in store for us in His plan. I guess experiences only kind of stay real in our minds when we remember them in community, I think. Um, when you're alone, you know, you forget lots of things. So we need, to, we need to be together in order to, really to keep alive the memory of the things that God has done, I think. It's having a shared experience. I think you can only continue to, it's great when it happens, but you can only continue to foster that experience if you continue to talk about it and you know have more shared experiences by getting together more and and planning for the next world youth day or planning for your next little get together things like that so yeah i mean i think it's important to just continue to foster what we learned what we heard about um, all the experiences that we had